Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sunny from Hashtag, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Resurrection Remix New Kid ROM for the Galaxy Note 8.0. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Kicking off the review, I'm going to show you the software and I'm also going to tell you about the special features first off. So, in the overall look department, this ROM looks absolutely like any other stock Nougat ROM. Yes, this is based upon the Android 7.1.1 and this is an official ROM, so I guess that's a good thing. And the performance feels really good. The tab overall is very responsive, I would say and flying around the interface is very easy, quick and smooth and the overall experience is really good so take my word for it this room is speedy although this rom does glitch out sometimes and can get very slow occasionally not usually but occasionally and obviously the apps look exactly like you would expect them to look and they open really quickly and I think that's a really great feature of Resurrection Remix ROMs overall. And obviously this also has the multi-window capability. And you can just use it. And it is really, really reliable I would say. But the screen does start uh, flickering sometimes. So keep that in mind. You have the configurations tab in the settings menu. And you have a lot of options. And it would not be humanly possible to cover all these uh, options and customization features in a 3 minute video. Now moving on to the speed and stability round. This ROM is really quick with its animation. The overall frame rate is really good and app opening and closing doesn't really have that much of a delay considering how old this tablet really is. So this is a great way uh, to make your tablet new in a sense and talking uh, about stability I'm obviously going to tell you about the camera it works in the photos department but as soon as you uh, switch to the videos it just crashes for some reason so this needs to be fixed obviously but yeah now with all that in mind let's move on to the battery life this is a make or break feature for a lot of people so the battery life of this rom is fairly average three to three and a half hours of screen on time maximum which is fine i would say but you can squeeze out four plus hours with this tablet so it's not the greatest now moving on to the bugs and issues of this rom this is a little unstable and the screen does have a tendency to flicker but that's about it so now moving on with everything we've discussed in mind, let's move on to the conclusion. So guys, that was the resurrection email from for the Note 810. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. And the person who was requesting for this video, here you go. And I'm sorry it took so long, but here you are. So yeah guys, I would recommend this ROM, but it has its glitches, so just try it for yourself first and if the screen flickering issue gets too annoying for you, uh, then obviously don't use it, but I think it's worth the uh, trade off. And why uh, is my head cut off? Uh, you don't want to see my hair cut guys. You know my teacher, he just... So it looks absolutely ridiculous I know, but this is who I am. <laughs> I look hideous. That's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.